Hey, it's Necktie, and I can't tell you how excited I am for this episode. Welcome to episode 62 of my No GPS series, and in this one we're going to take some Volvo buckets up to Bellingham, and I've made a couple of changes. Let's get into it. So as you can see, we are over here at a service center. We delivered at the Lieber. I drove over here. The plan was, I believe I told you the plan. If not, I'm telling you now, the plan was to come down to Aberdeen. However, all right, there we go. I spent a couple hours this afternoon going back and forth with Ironworks Modding on Facebook Messenger, and he sent me a couple of updates to the trailer to test out to make sure his fix worked, and it worked beautifully. So the first thing is that I'm super excited about because this is hands down my favorite low boy trailer in the game right now the ironworks modding gsl low boy is back in and then i made a couple changes to the truck so what's going to happen is we need to come out of here and hang a left and come down here to western metal to load then we're going to come back out of here we're going to hang a right we're going to take this all the way down and where i said in the last episode to take a left to the general store i didn't know this was a one way at the time but we're going to take a right and then we're taking this down to Washington 20 and back to the ferry. And then we're taking the ferry across. We're going to come up here to I-5, take I-5 north. And then we're going to, this is the first exit. Taking the second exit right left into UPS is our final delivery. So there's that. Look at this girl, would you? One of the coolest, I'm a, I'm a nerd for probably what people think is stupid shit, but so this oversized sign here doesn't look like it does anything right let me flip my beacons on is that not the coolest damn thing and you can have those do ex different patterns too and my oversized flags have leds on them i know it's some people are probably like, really? That's what excites him? Yep. But that is the trailer, folks. And there is a ton of different combinations. You can even have it with a Jeep. Uh, I think there's a quad axle version. I have the... Why aren't those up? Oh, they were up. So I have the tri-axle with the liftable tag in the back. And then you can do all, I mean, there's all sorts of customizations. You can actually put a deck up here instead of just having a neck. So it would look like a regular uh, RGN, for example, that we used to pull at TMC. I did notice I forgot to put the ramps on the front. Let me do that right quick. That'll take two seconds. See, you can put an axe, you can put all this all this crap on there i don't know how i forgot that probably because i was in a rush all right perfect are my trailer tires still up no they weren't see i hate that when you go to the shop and do that okay so the truck it's shorter it's back to a 250 wheelbase because i got tired of dealing with the European prefabs and trying to turn an American truck and then I added the beacon back on but I completely forgot see how that's mounted in between the cab and the sleeper that's actually called a sleeper mount so instead of sitting on top of the sleeper it's on a bracket in between totally forgot that was even an update so yeah that's all I did field of view change that as well i'm at a for those that are wondering that have the pisder this is a 70 degree field of view so i'm trying to get it as you're actually driving that you can see your i mean you can see your driver's side mirror as you're driving out of your peripheral or depending how far back you could probably even see more of it but if i sit too far back then the curtains for the sleeper clip so I got it to where that doesn't happen but I can still everybody tracking and then I think I moved it up one notch in the seat so now I can see the front of the hood which I'm not crazy about but 
I'm trying to give you guys the best viewing experience of what it would be like of actually driving. And now I will shut my pothole and we'll get moving. As soon as I reset my odometer. There we go. Yeah, so again, I'm not um this is this is not an ad with this trailer. I'm just me personally, this is my favorite low boy in the game right now. And again, that's just like sounds completely subjective, right? So but it's cool because it has a Volvo compatibility mod and a heavy equipment compatibility mod. So if you own those DLCs, they're compatible with the trailer. All right, now I got to go all the way down here to Western Metals. I didn't realize this is a gravel road all the way down here. But yeah, and huge shout out to Ironworks because he, I mean, he did not have to do what he did. And honestly, he said he was going to work on a permanent fix, and I'm like, you can do whatever you want, it's your mod, but if it was me, I would leave what you have because it gives people options, and now you don't have to worry about every damn truck out there. So the issue was... where it connects to the fifth wheel, there was a gap there. So basically what he did was he made that plate thicker and gives you options to uh, basically fill in that gap. And he's gonna have a, uh, a painted option, a black option, or a chrome option. And then there's different, different sizes. So if you have the same issue I had with all of my trucks, well, there you can fix it. Right, looking for a green I no, this is Western Metals up here or do I check in down there now that looks like a lot of lumber right there so I go down here but yeah huge thank you to Ironworks modding because I don't know how many people he deals with but he didn't have to didn't have to do what he did but very appreciative and I mean that's and I'll be honest Next up, he's right up there with Pizder when it comes to customer service. I mean, running neck and neck in my book. I'll try and shut up about the trailer, but to be honest with you, it, it's going to be hard. So as you can see, has the Volvo, uh, the truck frame blanks. See, and that's cool. It's coming from here to Peterbilt, right? That makes sense. Grain bins. Anyway, these are going to UPS. I guess they're getting shipped out somewhere. Take job. Oh, and we're loading at that same place down there that we did the other day. Yeah, so the other thing is, um, and I just before I hit record, I get an email from Pizder, and then he updated the uh, his Discord that he just updated the Wade step deck to 1.6, which I know, I don't know if it added any more cargos for sure or not. I know he added diff more chassis to it. So it's getting real close for a release. But that's the other thing. I mean, I've pulled that trailer for, I don't know how long in this series. And so I'm trying to keep it a little fresh because I, I pretty much pulled everything. Wow, I couldn't have taken that any wider and I still may have scraped that. Yeah, just trying to keep things fresh. Because I'm sure when people keep seeing the same loads on thumbnails and stuff like that, like, we just saw that, like, I don't, I don't want to see that again. 
and I get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I shortened this truck because that would have been a hell of a time. I'm really trying hard not to comment about how shitty these textures are on this scrap metal over here, but it's kind of hard not to. It's honestly quite comical at this point. I did it again, folks. <laughs> I kept turning the wheel the same direction after I got in the truck. We'll make it, though. And remember how in the other episode I said that I didn't, for me personally, I didn't like how the 63-inch stand-up sleeper looked? I also checked in the Discord, and it's confirmed by Damo himself in the Discord that the 72-inch stand-up sleeper is coming in the next update. Don't need those anymore. Let's get loaded. Load info. And there we go. Are we over? Yeah, we are oversized because we're over the trailer. Now this is an SCS thing. This isn't Ironworks, but and I think you've probably seen it on the Wade that the uh, anything that overhangs the trailer should have a flag on it. Like my trailer. It's an Eager Beaver trailer. Yes, I'm a child. And also, if you're wondering why it's 9.58 in the morning, um, this is also why, because I was, I had to finagle stuff around because I was already set up to go pick up that other load and then getting my field of view straightened out, making sure the trailer matched the truck. It's been quite the ordeal the last couple of hours and then I had a thumbnail already for the episode which uh, I had to then hop into my main profile configure a trailer so it matches this one configure that truck so it matches this one and then find the same load luckily there was the same load out of Port Allen, Angeles so I just, you know, came over and yeah a little behind the scenes there of making a YouTube video So now we have to take a right. Lord, this is a bumpy gravel road. I really hope I remember to start the trucky client. Or not the trucky client, the trucks book client. Thank you. 
because as it stands right now, my employees are kicking my ass in the VTC. It's all good though, they're having fun. And if you would like to have as much fun, join the Discord in the link below. And uh, everything you need to know is in the SSL information channel. straight one on one east truck route all right well we're gonna take it we'll follow the signs we'll be legal oh speaking of legal I should probably turn my lights on and my blinky blinks because we're oversized yeah because I wanted to be down there and I think I just scraped the guard room What did that just do? Did we just end up on the road we came in on? Oh, uh, we did. Okay, so it makes you... All right, so then in order to do the 100% uh, roads discovered thing. Okay. Really? Okay, can you can you guys go now so I can There's three axles on this trailer tie. It doesn't turn like a normal tandem wheel. All right, so. Well, no, wait a minute. I don't know. I would have to look at the map and figure out what the hell's going on here, which I just may at the stoplight. But I'm fairly certain this is exactly where we wanted to be. It is. So I guess if I wouldn't have taken the truck route, we would have ended out over here somewhere, I guess. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So this was the road I originally wanted to be on. So now we're not going to take a right at the general store. We're just going to stay straight. So as I was saying, if you want to get the 100% explored thing, you're technically going to have to uh, break the law. Although, truck routes are for the majority of trucks. If it's a local delivery, it doesn't matter. So I guess if you're going to that general store, you could get away with it. Technically. And graphics-wise, as I'm looking at the sky, um, I'm still using the weather 2.7, 8K, but it's not from Steam. It's actually from the SCS forums. And it's a much larger file. So when you subscribe to it from Steam, you ju it just downloads, right? But on the SCS forums, it's actually like a six-part file that you have to download. And then there's a part two, a part one, the base, and then an add-on for Grimes mods. Which I wasn't even running the add-on before. I didn't realize there was an add-on add -on for that. So that's going to be interesting to uh, see if I notice anything. But my initial impression earlier today in my main profile is that I'm liking the SCS forums 
version better. And I don't know if there's more to it or if it's just, I don't know. All I know is instead of one file, it was six. And instead of one mod you had to put in, it was four, so. Anyway, there's that Tesla that I was looking for in the last episode to, as a marker. Oh, okay. wait. So, the general store thing is gone, so now we just need to take a left on Washington 20. He says... 98% confidently. Yeah, that's what we need to do. check too many things at once. I'm trying to get a feel for how this trailer's tracking. Alright, so it's normal. I just was an idiot when I was turning back there. Shocking, I know. Put your splitter up tie before good lord. Alright, so now we take this straight into the port. I feel like I should look at my notes and verify, but... fun is that? And if I remember correctly, it should be a right-hand turn into the ferry. As a matter of fact, at this stoplight. Yep, very traffic next right. The other reason I was excited is because when I was got everything on my main profile with this trailer I specifically checked Port Angeles to see if there was freight coming out of there for this trailer and there was and I was like oh yeah and then Bellingham popped up which if I went down to Aberdeen I wasn't really sure how I was going to get back up to Bellingham Thank <laughs> you. 
everyone enjoy their trip just want to make sure my blinky blinks were working all right now I believe it is a Washington 20 to I-5 North swing this wide so we don't hit that sign. Probably should have swung it wider. Oh, we're good. surprised there's no signs along here that say no jumping or no diving. trying to pre-select crap. Get all discombobulated. Yep, because that sign over there says freeway entrance. 
dealership and a recruitment agency all right so let's see if we can get in here without effing it up oh and it gave us sympathy parking kind of cool how all the UPS facilities are exactly the same it must be cost savings when they build them oh wow I had plenty of room They even have the little same generator station thing or whatever the hell that box is up there to the right a little bit. I guess I don't need my blinky blinks and my lights on anymore. Should have probably turned on my flashers though since I was backing up. It's all, all good. Truck off. Unload. Excellent. And you know the drill by this time, folks, right? Bellingham is gone. Number 95. Let's see what's coming out of here for G Wiz Info. What do you say? Oh, fan. Fantastic. Everett. Boom. Look at that. Coming out of here even. And Seattle. But we need Everett. Let me just... Actually... No, we do need Everett. Why don't you just look at your list, Ty, instead of trying to sit here and fiddle fart around like... Yeah, we do need Everett. Now, hopefully, we can get Everett, and then there's another load going to, like, Seattle, Tacoma. Hopefully Seattle. Uh, so, it'd be nice to get a twofer in tomorrow. Wonder if it'll load us right here. Oh, that's even better. 
118,500, which means we're at about 145. Truck is probably 25,000. Trailers, maybe 15,000. And we're probably pushing 150, maybe a little over. And there we go, folks, a lift truck to lift containers. So we will be heading to Everett in the next episode. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 62 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And until the next one, y'all take care.